Hey, I'm Andy, we're back with the remake for Resident Evil 4. We're just gonna continue right where we left off. We made like a pit stop with some police, and it seems like they didn't make it. And yeah, it seems like we we're trying to find the president's daughter. And obviously, it's not gonna go well. <laughs> we also see a lot of crows here, too. And it, it, it seems like, or based off the one opponent I faced, it takes four headshots to get rid of one person. Can I? Oh, I can't unhook that. The water seems bad. Ooh, ammo. Also, like, I mentioned this in the previous one, but the, like, the quick swap seems a lot different, too, from what I remember in, like, the other remakes. And, like, they made a whole bunch of quality of life changes, which is a good thing. A little bit, uh, illogical in places, like the storage being in the typewriter, but, I mean, it is what it is. Ooh, a chest. Or what, what's there? Okay, so that's currency, but there was like a thing that I can do to make it drop more. I just don't know how valuable or how, how often I'll see. Or like, I don't know how much things are worth, so. Oh, geez, I didn't even see you there. Oh, ow. So it pauses when you're in the inventory. Okay. Restoring health. You can restore health using herbs or a first aid spray. The effect of herbs can be enhanced by combining them with other herbs. Red herbs increase the amount of health recovered, while yellow herbs increases your maximum. Is that temporary? I wonder if that's temporary or not. So let's just use. I think we're fine. Melee. No, I can't melee. No, I- Ooh! <laughs> yeah, um, Leon has a mean- very mean kick. <laughs> and it seems like they drop ammo, so that's nice. But I- I don't like that my knife has health. What, like, was that always a thing? In, uh, Resident Evil 4? Like, the original Resident Evil 4? I mean, I guess it is what it, maybe we'll find more, maybe we'll find ways to sharpen the knife, I'm not sure. Like, I'm going through this basically blind, without even prior knowledge of the game, so. Hopefully. Ooh. I did not even see that. <laughs> Damn it. Did that affect my health at all? Oh, so I can actually use a knife, okay. Interesting. Oh, it's only when I'm aiming, so that didn't affect my health. That's good. Oh, I see you. Melee, melee, melee. So it seems like it's a good idea to conserve ammo and just melee when possible because like, Leon has a very awesome kick. <laughs> so yeah, flash grenade. I wonder how that's gonna help work with when we have two. Anyways. So we can't fire the gun unless we aim it. That's good to know. So now I can actually break down the barrels if I wanted to. So I need to keep my eyes out on traps. Or maybe that was just that only one. I also saw that one person that Leon was talking to, so hopefully nothing bad happens to her. <laughs> but it seems like they were in a area far, far away. What is that? Binoculars? 
So I can crouch. Although, like, zoom. Oh, yep, that's the other police officer. <laughs> Didn't make it. Oh. Something else gonna happen? I don't think anything else is gonna happen. So, I assume we go this way. <laughs> Try not to alert everyone. I see some herbs. Which is always a good thing. Not the yellow ones though. And I assume ye like yellow means... Usually yellow means good in this game. So I wonder if there's gonna be like stealth takedowns or something like that. Oh, you need two people? Okay, I assume that's what that means. They're gonna be stealthy. Maybe, maybe not. Here we go. Oh, I shouldn't have reloaded. F fight them off. Oh. I did not even see you there. <laughs> oh, we can. They can. Oh, I am. I am. I'm not trapped, but. I need to be aiming better. <laughs> oh, I have ten bullets left. I'm gonna get more bullets, but one bullet left. Ooh, oh, I don't like this. Hold oh, the chainsaw. This isn't good. I have no. Ooh, that is terrifying. I'm gonna run. Oh. So let's... Item crafting, yeah I know. Uh, let's see, what can I do? I mean, let's just use this. Because we still have a first aid spray, but that's kind of like a last resort. Flashbang. How do I use a flashbang? <laughs> that seems like a good idea. I think I went to the wrong place. Yep, I went to the wrong place. <laughs> oh, nope. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I'm... Am I doing terribly? I feel like I'm doing terribly. Oh jeez, this isn't good. There's fire. Oh. Oh, is this like a survival thing? You got a brown chicken egg! <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... 
Saved by the bell? <laughs> I, if I remember right, this happened in uh, Resident Evil 8 too. In, in, a, in a sense. At least, uh, I don't know if you can actually kill the chainsaw guy. Like, I've seen the chainsaw guy in the original one, but I don't think I've tried, like, fighting them. Alright then. <laughs> that was odd. Can I pick up the axe, please? Where's everyone going? Bingo? Ha. Uh, uh. <laughs> Resident Evil 4. So is there going to be cooking? I did pick up brown chicken egg. Route to Condor 1. I've identified a route to the lake. Look for a large windmill. There's a path on the far side of it. Oh, there's some traps here too. Copy that. And be careful. <laughs> yes. How did I not like, get hit by that? That's so weird. If you become lost, you can check your current position and objectives on the map. If you have a treasure map, you can also be able to see the locations of hidden valuables. Well, I mean, I have the DLC thing, so... I guess I will... I mean, I might as well get those if I can, right? I mean, I'll try to get them. Because obviously this requires two people, and the door is locked, with no way of me breaking. I can't, my even Leon super strength legs can't break open the doors. All right, so this requires a key. Oh. Ow. I don't I already have three thousand, wow. So I definitely need like a way to restore knife health or at the very least like a way to get a new knife. Alright then. That's a V for the map. So there is a treasure here, but it's locked. So there is still one more treasure here. So I, I assume we're safe to explore for now. Another egg. So let's see what it does. Brown chicken eggs can be used to restore some health. Just eat it raw. <laughs> But I mean, we have, I think we have enough ammo for now. But I mean, I could, I could be wrong. There could be another horde. Oh, we can actually block windows and stuff. Maybe I should have stayed here. Resources. S. Okay. First aid spray. I definitely should have tried and like held out here <laughs> seems like there's a lot of stuff like this shotgun <laughs> nice. and a grenade wow what <laughs> it's, like it's prepping me for something that oh well it is what it is I somehow survived and 
Everything is fine. <laughs> Might not have that many healing stuff, but it is what it is. So everyone went in there. I kind of don't want to go there. I still just want to explore and see all the goodies that I can get. I'll probably come back here later because there are some goodies that are, like, locked away, literally. <laughs> oh, there's a chest here. Ornate necklace. Combining treasures. You can view the treasures you collected in the key items and treasures menu. Some treasures can be sold at a higher price by fitting them with gemstones, just like uh, Resident Evil 8, I believe. Alright. So we're supposed to go that way, but I kind of want to explore this area first. And there seems to be stuff here. So we're at 4,000 monies. Ooh, red herb. Okay. So we're way in this place. Yes, there is. More monies. Hand grenade. Oh, there's a box here. Monies. Uh, like, if there's gonna be that much early on, I feel like the things that I'll eventually buy are gonna be super expensive. Just a feeling. So there's this place. Which I haven't been in yet. And then this area that was locked. Resources. And nothing in the back. Okay. What is over here though? Oh, there is something in the back. Monies. It's, it's a shame that we can't pick up the trap and then set it ourselves. I guess we'll just continue onwards this way. I guess we can make a small detour. Oh, the detour was worth it. We got some more monies. I really don't know what the monies is for, but sure. Like, it's either it was setting me up for to defend myself against that. Uh, timed onslaught or is preparing me for something more. We got a ruby. Like it's preparing something, it's preparing for something later on. Or maybe it's just how this difficulty is. <laughs> look at all the ammo. I have 54, 54, 55 ammo. But like I said, I need a way to sharpen my knife because it, I think I only have like a few swings left before it breaks or something there it is. the windmill oh here's a safe spot money so yeah we also have a shotgun too so let's see, resources as crafting material can be combined with gunpowder to create a variety of ammo and attachable mines. It's also, you can't stack the grenades, sadly. We can combine the herbs if we need space. 
But I mean, it is what it is. So maybe the increased drop rate for money might be better in the long run since I'm getting a lot of ammo, but it could be because I have this attached. So, I mean, let's try craft. So you need five and one to make 10 handgun, but you need 12, which we have only 16, to make shotgun shells. The shotgun shells might be better, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, I guess I'll find out next time. Hopefully we won't encounter the chainsaw person again, but you never know. You never know. But yeah, that, that was very intense. Um, thought I messed up, but apparently it just it's just like an endless onslaught until the bell rang. So we were saved by the bell. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Don't know what lies ahead. So yeah, until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.